Hello, my name is Mr. Maps. Today we're going to be talking about division with decimals. You get to hear me now. If you get to hear me now. Okay, so if you've seen my previous video when I when I performed division with remainders, this is a different way to tackle when something doesn't divide into whole numbers. Okay, so let's start off. Let's start off with a number: sixty-three divided by six. Okay, so now we put it in our bus stop. Six there, and our sixty-three. Okay, so how many times can six? come out of six well it can come out of six once all nice and easy how many times can six come out of three well you can't do it so you put zero up here now we have three remainder now previously we would have put th remainder three but now I'm going to show you how to turn this into a decimal number So our remainder would be placed here and we put a zero here and we put our decimal point here that's really important how many sixes come out of 30 well if we know our times table 5 times 6 is 30 so you get 5 sixes out of 30 and there you have it there's our answer 10.5 Okay, that's a relatively simple bus stop division with a decimal number. So, let's try something a little bit more complex. Let's try this one. 149 divided by 8. Okay, so let's put it in our bus stop. Eight. This is the divisor, and this is the dividing. Okay, how many eights can we get out of one? Well, we can't, can we? So we have to put a zero there. We put our one here. We cross this one out. How many eights can we get out of 14? Once times eight is eight, two times eight is 16, that's too high. So only the one at the moment. And what's our remainder? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we put that 6 here. How many 8s can we get out of 69? Now, if we know our times table, we know times tables, we know that 8 times 8 is 64. So we put 8 here. And what's the remainder of it? 64. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, that's five remainder. So we put a zero here, we put our five here, we put our decimal point. How many eights can we get out of 50? Now I know five times eight is 40. Six times eight would be 48, so that would be six, would make 48. And our remainder would be two. Let's just extend our bus stop here. So we'd have to put a two here and another zero. How many eights can we get out of 20? Once times eight is eight, two times eight is 16. So that's two with a remainder of four. I'll put another zero here. How many eights can we get out of 40? Well, if you know your times table, five times eight it's 40 and there's our answer hundred forty nine divided by eight is eighteen point six two five okay so let's do one more this one's a little bit special and I'll explain when we get to the point of difficulty Okay, 52 divided by 
three. Okay, let's put it in our bus stop. Three. And put 52 here. How many threes can we get out of five? Well, we can get one, and there'll be a remainder of two. How many threes can we get out of 22? So if you know your three times table, five times three is 15, six times three is 18, seven times three is 21. So seven. And now we've run out of numbers, so we put our zero here, and our decimal point. And our remainder would be one. How many threes can we get out of 10? Well, three threes are nine, so we've got three so far and a remainder of one. How many threes can we get out of 10? Three threes are nine and a remainder of one. And as you can see, this would go on forever. We'd have our remainder one there. And this is what's called a recurring decimal. I'm going to write that down. Reoccurring decimal. Reoccurring. Reoccurring decimal. And what we do with these, once we know and realise it's going to be reoccurring, just put a little dot here just to let the person the reader know that this decimal will go on forever so our answer is 17.333 and we put our dot there to say that the threes would go on forever okay I've been Mr Maths and that has been bus stop division with decimals